Robert Indiana, A Legacy of Love, explores the art of one of the most important pop artists from the 1960s, uh, who really made his uh, name by fusing text and imagery in his work. Best known for his iconic love image, both as a sculpture, as a painting, as a print. Indiana's work is now ubiquitous, although many people don't know the artist's name. This exhibition is really an exploration of some very specific aspects of Indiana's life and career. And it's very uh, different from other recent Indiana surveys in that it looks at uh, Indiana, not, not only in, from, in terms of his artwork, but also in terms of his biography and in terms of how he's influenced artists after him. The first section of the exhibition focuses on the art by Robert Indiana. So we wanted visitors to see his output through a selection of five works of art from early in the artist's career. Robert Indiana considered his text-based images to be concrete poems. He was both an artist and a poet. The second section of the exhibition explores Robert Indiana and his pop art contemporaries, uh, including Andy Warhol, Roy Lichtenstein, Klaus Oldenburg, and Wayne Thiebaud. Uh, this section includes some very significant loans to the McNay from the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. The works in this gallery include paintings and sculpture uh, and really place Robert Indiana within the context of the 1960s and the uh, development of pop art in, in, in America. The third section of the exhibition explores Robert Indiana's work in theater. Uh, because of the friendship between Robert Indiana and San Antonio collector and McNay patron Robert Tobin, the McNay is fortunate to have the uh, design for sets and costumes that Indiana created for the Gertrude Stein, Virgil Thompson opera, The Mother of Us All, which explores the life of Susan B. Anthony. The fourth section of the exhibition explores the artwork of Robert Indiana with that of Marsden Hartley. Marsden Hartley was an artist who lived a generation before Robert Indiana, and Robert Indiana was greatly influenced by Hartley's work. He felt a sort of kinship with Hartley, and both of them had an interest in numerology and also coded symbolism. The final chapter of this exhibition explores the work of contemporary artists, um, really building from the foundation built uh, by Robert Indiana and pop artists, you know, fusing text and image. In this incredibly diverse section of the exhibition, we have the work of contemporary artists from all across the country, Esther Hernandez and Shepard Ferry from, uh, from California. We have the work of San Antonio artists, Chad Dawkins, Chuck Ramirez, Alejandro Diaz. Um, we have a, a commission uh, work here by Ana Kahnstein Zora, a Brooklyn-based digital artist. And it's just a real um, celebration, a real, a real reflection of Robert Indiana's legacy in the present day.